Confusion as to why thousands can cheer on the Leafs, but restaurants can only be at 50% capacity. For many, it makes no sense. The Ontario Chamber of Commerce is calling for the Ford government to release the data to justify this decision. So, I tried to get the rationale from the head of the province's science advisory table. Quite frankly, I'm still confused. Does the science table support the decision to open stadiums to full capacity and restaurants remain with caps? The science table has not discussed this question. Peter Uni believes even in a big pack stadium, sports fans would only potentially be impacted by COVID-19 by the 150 people sitting closest to them. I'm still trying to understand. So, so if you're in a big stadium with thousands of people, you're telling me that the 150 around you are the concern are where the, you could catch it. But the restaurants, console. very often, a lot of the small ones don't have more than 150 people in them either. Your question points towards the fact that you don't understand how this virus is being transmitted. And you yeah. need to get your question right by just understanding what's actually happening. If people are asymptomatic at the beginning of the disease, the most likely mechanism of transmission is airborne transmission, meaning what is front and center is the extent of ventilation that you're having. And that's the real deal here. If you have a small restaurant, with just 25 people, and the ventilation in this restaurant is, is uh, problematic. I'm just looking at the data, that's all I'm doing. Would you be able to send me this data that you're referring to? And here it is, a study by Uni in 2020, where the source of 40 to 60% of cases was unknown, and it was before vaccinations began. Uni believes, though, the principles remain the same. He calls opening stadiums at full capacity an experiment, and says it is important for people People to wear masks. However, these visuals of a concert last week show many are not. They don't wear masks, etc. This can all backfire. It could well be that two to three weeks from now, what we will see is it didn't work out. Numbers go up relatively explosively. Epidemiologist Colin Furness has a different point of view. Where is the data to support keeping stadiums at full capacity and restaurants at half capacity? We don't have data to support that. For Ness, would open restaurants at full capacity before stadiums. We know certainly relatively recently in the UK, gigantic spikes after large football matches. So we have data that says super spreader events can happen in these large settings. They do happen in these large settings. And statistically, if you look at the number of new cases in Ontario every day, someone in that 20,000 seat stadium uh, is going to be COVID positive. We have a very high likelihood for a super spreader event, far more so than in a small space like a restaurant now, the two agree on one point. Both say they would not go to a busy stadium out of safety concerns. The big problem here is no one from the Ford government has explained the rationale, not the premier, nor the health minister, nor the chief medical officer of health, since the announcement came in a press release late Friday afternoon of a long weekend. That's five days ago.